So now let us work around with making custom brushes inside of Toon Boom. So for that, I'm going to go to my brush tool and then I'm going to go to my brush tool settings right over here. So over here, you can see that there's the textured vectors. This is where I'm going to bring in my brush tool. So for that, what you have to do is you have to press on the plus icon right here. But before that, we need to make our brush. So I'm going to go on to my Photoshop window right here. So if you don't know how to use Photoshop, you can take a look at my uh, YouTube playlist and you can learn all about Photoshop over there. So now I'm going to create a new, uh, a new file right here. So I'm going to choose 100 by 100 pixel and I'm going to create a new file. So I want to make sure that this is transparent. So I'm going to uh, like unlock the background and delete everything out. So now I'm going to take a random shape right over here, which I want to use as a brush. So let's say I want to use this palm, hand palm, just like a brush, just like this. So there you go. That's my hand palm and that's a brush. So if you're working with the textured brush, uh, that you can also work with semi-transparency. So I'm going to copy and paste the shape right over here. So I'm going to hold Alt and make a duplicate. And then I'm going to decrease its opacity. So unlike uh, the pencil tool, uh, your brush also uh, accepts semi-transparency just like this. So now I'm going to save this. So I'm going to save this out in my desktop. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to save it as hand texture just like this and press save. So once I save it out, I'm going to go back onto uh, my Toon Boom Harmony. And this is where I want to bring in the brush. So I'm going to add this in right over here. And then I'm going to go to my desktop. Here's my hand texture. I'm going to open that out. And you can see my hand texture right here. So if I were to draw something out, you can see that it is the hand texture as I actually brought in. So if I were to increase the size, maximum size and so forth, you can see that this is the hand texture just like this. So you can work around with all of the settings and this is what you get. So that's the hand texture. But over here in the solid vector though, you cannot choose it. In texture, you have to be on the textured vector to actually do this. So you work around with the smoothing, transparency, and in dual tip in the same way. So you can actually go into the dual tip as well and then select, uh, do the same process. So you can actually add in the texture, the hand texture, press open and the dual texture is there. So it is already there. So it's giving me a warning, but it is the same step. So you can actually go over here from the dual texture, you can work around and work around with the type of texture you have as well. So right now I'm selecting both uh, as the same texture. So it's not working out well. So I'm just going to select this and it's working out well, as you can see right there. So just like that, dual texture, there's a bit of a hand thing going on right over here as well. So let me just go to dual texture and go to combine and let's see how that actually looks like. So you can see that this is how the combination actually works like. So this is it. Another thing is paper texture as well. So you can actually go over here, press the plus icon, use the hand texture. I'm going to use the hand texture as the paper texture. So I'm just going to uh, delete off everything. I'm just going to delete off everything right here. Let me just go to uh, the brush tool right here. And if I were to draw out something, you'll be able to see the hand texture over here as well, just like that. So let me just turn off the dual tip and delete all of this out. So I'm going to delete all of this out right over here. So now in order to use it as a paper texture, I'm going to go to paper texture and set it, uh, set the hand texture uh, right over here. So I'm going to go over to the tip. I have to be sure to be on the textured vector. And if I were to choose any brush over here, like the star, for example, and if I were to draw it, you can see hand right over here. So if I were to actually go over here, zoom in, you can see the hand texture right over here, which is acting as the paper. You can actually do this um, with any of the brush and it works around the same way. So it only paints out in the hands right over there. So that's one thing you can do. And one of the things that you can do with brush tool is even bring in JPEZ as um, an image file, so, um, as, as a texture file. So I can actually go over here onto the brush tool. I can go over here and then on the uh, paper texture, I can actually press the tick mark button right here. If I were to press plus and bring in something like this tube uh, right here, uh, I'm using the PNG file, which actually has transparency. So I'm going to press open and you can see that this is what I get. I can also use JPZ. Seems like this is not supporting it. I'm going to use uh, JPZ, press open. And this is what I get, as you can see. So if I were to take something like a tip and draw on top of it over here, so draw on top of it 
right now uh, it is not actually drawing in pretty nicely so I'm just going to go around delete this out so let me just go around here and then uh, select this type of a tick tip and then draw around right over here so it is not being drawn, drawn around because there's no logo here but if I were to actually draw it here you can see that the tube uh, logo actually pops up because I set that out as the paper right over there so now I'm just going to delete this out and I'm going to use it as a brush tool so let me just go over here onto the brush texture itself so let me just turn off the paper texture on the tip let me just add the uh, tutor tube JPZ as my brush tip so here is my brush tip and if I were to paint it you'll be able to see that it paints it out as little tutor tubes right over there so that is how you can use any image as uh, the brush tool so that is how you can use your custom uh, textures inside of brush tool inside of uh, Toon Boom Harmony. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.